Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celebrity Cars. We're located in Las Vegas. Sun's coming up. Halfway between Henderson, Nevada and Summerlin, Nevada. 7770 Dean Martin Drive. Right off the strip. The weather's beautiful. The lights are coming back on in the world. Time to buy a 2007 Mustang GT. This isn't only just a 2007 Mustang GT. It's a very custom with a lot of horsepower. I have no idea how many horsepower. It's crazy. It's crazy. You're going to go to celebritycars.com, go to Ford, find this Mustang. You get to read all about all the customization that was done to the car. Well, what am I doing here? I'm your living, breathing condition report, okay? Everybody likes black Mustangs. Well, how black is it? How many chips and scratches are on it? How many dents does it have? curb rash, all those things. So that's why I'm here. I'm going to go over all these details with you as best as I can. We're out in the beautiful sunlight today. It's about uh, 1 p.m. or so, so the light's kind of sort of perfect. And uh, we're going to talk about this really awesome. The stance is beautiful. The paint is in good shape. Uh, the wheels are in good shape. Uh, the road wear is uh, you know in the middle this is a 2007 folks and it was customized uh, probably a while ago and the last owners enjoyed it so it's got a little bit of normal road wear there isn't a great big chunk taken out of anywhere uh, this car has not been professionally detailed it's been cleaned but it hasn't had a major you know buff uh, $500 fancy car detail so it, it is how it sits uh, the paint to touch it is somewhat smooth, but you can kind of sort of feel um, uh, a little bit of, you know, where it, it's kind of uh, begging for a clay bar. And then a really good, uh, you know, polish by your, your local professional detailer. That's, that's what this car needs at the moment. Um, it's got a couple of the normal, uh, you know, microfiber cleaning a lot of times got some of those fine scratches in it that's all the stuff that the, the detailer will be able to cover for you he's not going to make the road wear chips go away uh, you can be clever with some paint chip stuff and get a professional detailer you already know the scoop but uh, this is a awesome car i've driven it around it's got lots of horsepower the supercharger makes all kinds of fun noises um, and uh, the hood pins work Uh, the, uh, the wheels are actually in pretty darn good shape. There is some wear on some of the black inserts here. We'll get up and close to that. Uh, what we try to do is get you, uh, uh, the, you know, the, the lighting and everything so you can actually see what I'm looking at. Okay. Now I'm taking an extra long time to discuss this one because it's black. Okay. But I mean, look at this sucker. I mean, yeah, it's got a couple of those little scratches. Uh, now, this is also, I should tell you, that the, uh, this was kind of sort of made into a quote-unquote Eleanor clone. Um, there's a little bit of Eleanor stuff on it. You can either keep that, or it's very easy to remove the Eleanor off the car, okay? It's going to require an afternoon, but, um, uh, but it can be taken off without having to go to the paint shop and all that kind of stuff, just so you know. But uh, it's, it's, uh, it's great that they honored it and they did a really nice job with uh, the louvers in the back window, uh, you know, the side skirts, the side exhaust. Uh, it's really cool. It, it's, it's a really, really pretty car. Well, let, let's talk road wear, okay? Um, let's start with the nose of the car. You can come on in and we're going to look through the viewfinder together so you can just kind of sort of see what I'm looking at. So you look right over my right shoulder and I'm looking down on the nose. And you see some of the fine scratches from, from your microfiber towel. And then you'll see some of these little white suckers. Okay? The little white suckers is road wear, folks. It's not going to come off. They're very faint. Remember, we're out in the sunshine right now. If uh, this were driving down the road, you were driving with your friends down the road, they would think that you're driving a perfect car. Because the only time you're going to see this road wear is when you're really up and, up, up and close. Um, the whole front bumper, it's a really nice black. Uh, there, 
Um, I, I'm not the best detailer in the world today, but there's a couple little water marks right there that'll clean off. These marks down here, these little white suckers down here, I tried to get them off. That's a little chip, that's a little chip. Um, I, I'm not gonna beat this car up. We're gonna, I'm gonna trust my uh, fancy camera guy here and he's gonna go around. You keep your eyes peeled. There's another little chip here. There's another little one there. This is normal road wear that you'd find on your daily Mercedes, Lexus, Toyota. This is nothing sharp, but there's no great big chunks. There's no, see this whole piece right here? This is all nice and smooth all the way around. Down here across the middle, although I feel road wear, it's not, hasn't, I don't feel any scraping down here. Like this hasn't rubbed a curb or a pylon. It's all in really nice shape. The headlights, the headlight covers have a couple little scratches in them, but it's nothing, uh, it's just normal road wear stuff. The grill, obviously this is custom. Um, it's painted nicely and I don't see any uh, paint chips coming off or anything like that. Uh, the fog lights down below, they are really in nice shape. I haven't tried to see if they work or not, but um, you get the idea. Well, I'm not going to beat the front end of this car up anymore. Come on over here to the passenger side. We'll go down there first since we have this in the direct sunlight. And while you're coming by, you take a glance at the hood here. You see those fine scratches. You all know what that's from. That's from a microfiber towel. Uh, and uh, uh, there, uh, although we're in the direct sunlight, we haven't tried to get rid of this at all, not even myself. So um, this is there's plenty of paint left on here. Uh, for you to get your professional detailer to blacken that up. So let's start, let, look at the front passenger side fender. Um, once again, you see my finger wiped down through the black paint, okay, and making those lines right there. Um, you know, how much, you know, all of our detailers, all, all of our friends here, anybody that, you Mustang guys, you know what I'm talking about there. You get a little buildup from your spray stuff and, and uh, you get little marks on it. I didn't scratch anything, it's all good. Here's your front wheel and tire. Now this is what I wanted to explain about the slight wear. Uh, the black portion here in these wheels. Um, they seem to be custom wheels. They're really cool custom wheels, but they have a little bit of wear in there. The chrome though, folks, is really nice all the way around on all of them. Now you notice a lot of extra bottom body moldings on this car. Yes, they were installed. The, the side ones in reason for the side exhaust. All of these pieces, folks, are all in really nice shape. They're all in one piece. They're not half hanging off. Um, they, they, they're, they're on there. They're on there. It's good. Uh, maybe not perfect, but uh, you know, as you can see, but they're on there. This, you know, button, need, this uh, screw needs to be tightened up, and this needs to be cleaned a little bit better by your uh, host, Scott, here. Um, but, uh, you know, I did the best I could. I was kind of doing it in the dark inside. So you notice all the way down the side of the car, all this looks great. I don't see any major, I don't see any dings. I don't see any major chunks taken out of the paint. I barely even see any road chips or, and such. You look back here behind the uh, rear tire, uh, you know, this car's uh, detuned right now to around 500 real wheel horsepower. Uh, apparently it can have a lot more and you can see somebody was having some fun. So there you go. Um, all the rest of this, there's a small abrasion right there, but this is all really nice. Um, I'll open this real quick and close it again. You come on back here with me and over my right shoulder, you get to look back at the car. And you see, this is all one piece of black. Everything, this, this is a, a guard, so it does line up. This is a guard, so you bang it, don't bang it against the wall in the garage. This is all one piece of black. It's, all, it's very nice. We haven't talked about the top yet. We'll get to that in a minute. We're doing the hard stuff first. Okay, now, because of the sunlight, you know, this is kind of hard to see. I, once again, I should have cleaned a little bit better. Uh, there's a little insignia here that says, God boost. I say get rid of, uh, but that's up to you. This rear spoiler and, and rear back end seems to be very custom. I don't know where this kit was particularly picked up from, but it's it's got a really nice, really nice look to it. Uh, the rear tail lights look great. There's some small scratches back here on the rear bumper, folks. You know, um, it's not it's 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 normal. You, you don't see any great big chunks, do you? No. So um, you know, it all looks it all looks pretty darn good. 
the reflection's beautiful. This uh, panel down here is obviously another extension off the rear bumper for custom as there's a scratch down here on the bottom, which I'm pretty sure, I don't know if a detailer can get that one out yet or get that one out or not, but you know, it, it can be touched up pretty darn easy. But everything back here, the license plate uh, area looks good. Um, it's just real nice black. There's some touch up paint right here, you know, part of this customization. But here, like once again, uh, I'm gonna grab this bumper. I'm pulling on it, okay? It's not getting ready to fall off or anything. Let's look at the rear deck while we're here. And if you could come from this uh, angle, if you could, please. Um, and the, although the, the, I know the sun is bright, but you'll see, you know, that spider web, it's really mild back here. This is something your detailer would uh, make disappear right away. But the best part is, is there's no big scratches back here. There's no chunks taken out of it. Somebody didn't put their Coke sitting back here, blah, blah, blah. Even these rear louvers look great. I don't know what this back windshield looks like and I'd have to remove these in order to see it and I'm not in the mood to do that. So I trust that this rear windshield is just fine. Um, start down the, the uh, driver's side here. You can see also this is the uh, continuation of the fun down here. Uh, might might want to get the camera to, to get a little more in a shady there. There you can see, yep. So it's not major folks, this is a Mustang. You all do it. Um, here's uh, uh, the rear driver's side wheel and tire. Uh, we didn't go over that one back there, but uh, again, there's little itty areas. Uh, I think the worst one is the driver's side front. I'll show you that in just a moment. This one's in half decent. This is like a flat, shiny black. And this chrome, once again, all four wheels, all the chrome looks really awesome. Um, continue down the side of this very, oh, down here, I got a chip or two. Let's, let's find some chips, shall we? There's a little one right there. Let's continue this direction. Um, there's just some dirt and some smudge, dirt and some smudge. Um, keep going down. I, I, I did not clean this side of the car very well now, did I? Um, and down here, that is a super small chip and one, two, three right there. There's some small abrasions. Once again, your detailer will take care of. And all the way down here, again, there are no big dents and dings. I'm, I'm kind of dying for a microfiber towel and some spritzer to clean this up right now, but that's my problem. Uh, this is, might look like some crud. This will all wipe off. I'm sorry, I missed it. Um, louver looks good. Side exhaust looks good. The window tint looks excellent. Here's the front fender. We talked about those couple little chips down there. I'm going to ignore the... Uh, uh, Eleanor emblem, uh, small chip there, uh, front. Uh, looks like some touch-up paint was done right here very tastefully because I can barely see them. And right here on this corner. But uh, again, my face is, uh, if I'm back here, I, I don't see any of that just to be, okay. Now let's look at the front wheel because I've been talking about this front wheel. Um, see, the, see the crud, crud, crud kind of sort of some crud, this right here. Unfortunately, this wheel took the, the beating for uh, uh, fading. Um, but these wheels are cool enough, man. You just send these out to get them uh, resprayed and redone and the chrome shined up, but you don't need to redo the chrome. There's no curb rash on, on any of this. So um, you're, you're in good shape, but to have this redone in there might not be such a bad idea. The barrels are really nice and clean. Um, and uh, you know, there's, there's just a really nice car. I wish I had a microfiber towel to clean that right now. It's driving me crazy. All right, let's look under the hood. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 we didn't talk about the roof. Let's come over and look at the roof. Is it okay to look this direction? Is it showing up? Once again, folks, we just have the little fine uh, microfiber stuff. I, I've already, I've, I've seen this whole top. There's not even a, a, you know, there's no chips. There's no scratch scratches in it. It's just the real fine stuff. Um, bug. I lied. There's a small chip right there and two chips right here. Look how small they are. Uh, that's what I'm here. I hope you, uh, this is, uh, this, these kinds of videos here at Celebrity Cars are for buyers, folks. Um, you know, there's, you'll, you'll see me drive down the road in this in a little bit. Uh, but if this is one that you want to take home, you, you should really follow along with this whole video. So just in case you fast forwarded to here because you wanted to see me talk about the top, 
uh, back it up so you can see everything else that I pointed out. The VIN number's right here, it states out real well. Uh, the hood, we talked about it, the silver patch is beautiful, it's blinding in the sunlight right now. And then you have just little itty bitty, smaller than the head of a pin, uh, a pen, <clears throat> little, not even up here, just up front where the normal driving, <coughs> excuse me, where the normal driving is. Okay, let's look at under the hood because uh, I know a lot of you have been wanting to see and, and a lot of you have fast forwarded to this point. That's quite all right. I don't, I don't blame you because what you're about to see, I have no idea what it is. All I know is, is it's really fast. It's a lot of tubes. It's a lot of plumbing. Once again, go to celebritycars.com. So you can learn about this Pro Charger. I know it's a Pro Charger because it says Pro Charger on it. <laughs> um, uh, a beautiful engine compartment, folks. Um, the orange came from somebody's idea. Um, the valve covers are orange. Part of the fuel injection's orange. Big pipes are orange. It's pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. It's very clean under here, too. Uh, I did notice while I was cleaning, and I think all cars are, because we've had a couple of Mustangs in here, and this is loose up front. I guess this is, I don't know, a custom piece to hold these. To, I don't know. Whatever. It's a little loose. Um, but all, all of this really looks great. This is normally, you know, it's a 2007. You can tell we didn't clean under here. So this is, you know, as bad as it's gotten. These things like to spit sometimes. There's no spitting anywhere. Um, you know, there's a lot of horsepower here. So, uh, but uh, go to celebritycars.com and give us a call to talk about, uh, you know, that <clears throat> we do know how to talk about, uh, uh, once we learn it, the variations of this motor and how it can be programmed to, to make more horsepower and so on and so forth uh, per uh, the, uh, the old owner. So uh, if you have any questions, give us a call. We're not gonna go over through every bit and piece of it. You've seen photographs, now you can see photographs of celebrity cars, and now you're seeing this video now. And then in a couple of minutes, we're gonna go for a drive too, so you can hear what all this stuff sounds like. It's pretty darn awesome. Um, Let's look in the trunk after I put the hood pins back. I think I said earlier, that these hood pins are functional. Um, I, I, sure, but they're not really functional. You still have the latch down here, so on and so forth. Okay, let's look in the trunk. I found the keys. Okay, remote opens up. There's a really pretty car cover back here for the car. And uh, yeah, we, we, we talked about this, but you know, it is the way it is. It's very easily removed, folks. See all this? That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, uh, fancy car cover, fancy audio system, holy crap. And everybody knows what that orange bottle is back there in the corner. So don't call and ask if it's fast, okay? <laughs> it's fast. All right, closing up the trunk. You see all that, it's a really nice shape. Um, all right, driver's side door is open. I'm gonna open the passenger side door, let some extra light in. Now, once again, you can go to celebritycars.com and see photographs of uh, the, the inside of this car uh, in detail, but you know, check out the door jams, um, uh, check out the, the, the body molding, how it's screwed in down there on the bottom. Uh, the seats are in terrific shape. The dash is in great shape. The carpet and floors are in really nice shape. Uh, I, I, sorry about this. A um, little carbon fiber inserts, some tasteful upgrades in there. Uh, it's all Bluetooth ready, so you can talk on the phone with your friends. Got a little screen in there. All upgraded. Really cool. Her shifter in here. Uh, I have driven the car. We are going to go for a ride in it. Uh, it shifts really great. Oh, look down here. Could check these out. 
I was wondering where the fog lights were and stuff. There they are right there. Fog lights, strobe. Oh, yeah, that line lock. A line lock has been installed in here, too. And here's a, um, here are the bad buttons back here in relation to the uh, great big orange tank in the, in the trunk. All of this looks great. The carbon fiber insert around it is actually pretty darn, pretty darn nice. Um, I don't see any scratches anywhere. The, uh, the pad around the shifter kind of sounds funny, but it's in really nice shape. The screen's cool. The whole dash, the whole condition, it really looks nice in here. I don't, I'm trying to, here's what I'm trying to do, folks. I'm trying to find something wrong, okay? So you don't get the car and it wind up in your drive and go, hey, I didn't say anything about that scratch. I might miss something here and there, but uh, I, other than that, this is nice and clean. Um, got extra gauges up here. You can see them from outside in the front. You know, fuel pressure, boost pressure, shift light. Holy mackerel. Okay, let me get out of this seat so you can see the driver's seat yourself. And the door jam and the body moldings and the inner door panel which it looks like the inner door panels folks i don't know mustang people you can let me know uh in this video it, this looks uh aftermarket this looks nice because it's a nice kind of sort of leather feeling i don't remember mustangs with this nice stuff in it and uh, the speaker up front wow look at that sucker anyway you get it this is a really nice car it's a nice car. I'm liking it more and more every time I spend more time with it. Well, there you have it. Uh, I guess the next thing for us to do is to go for a ride. What do you say? Let's take it for a ride down. Uh, I'm not gonna do an undercarriage video because um, it's a 2007. We like to do the old cars undercarriage, but if you have any questions about what's underneath and stuff like that, I'm pretty sure you're going to read about it. At celebritycars.com, you go to Ford, and you'll find out all the specifications on this car because there's a lot of upgrades done to it. And we want you to know uh, as best as we can what all's involved. So uh, let's go for a quick ride. What do you say? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Celebrity cars and this 2007 black Mustang GT. Well, <clears throat> um, I promised to go for a ride, sit in the car. Without further ado, let's get cruising. I'm gonna go put the clutch in. My park brake is on, works very good. Now the car's not really warmed up. I mean, we have moved it around. Uh, it's not really warmed up, warmed up. And uh, I'm not gonna beat the crap out of this thing. It's not my car. So uh, <clears throat> if you were looking for a really cool line lock video, this isn't gonna happen. You're gonna have to buy this and do it yourself. Okay. Park brake down, gonna engage first gear. And I'm gonna try and shut up, and just go through a couple gears and I'm gonna hit the brakes. I'll let you know when I'm doing that to make sure the brakes work good and stuff, okay? some brakes three two one okay brakes work <laughs> uh, rocket ship a black rocket ship there's a small vibration back here on the left probably an exhaust panel up against uh, another panel uh, until it warms up completely, it kind of has a little vibration back there that you can hear. Um, 
it's just a vibration because it'll go away. Ready? Okay, we're gonna get on a little bit more, but not a lot. I don't know, here we go, crazy. Foot's back on the brake. Right hand turn, turn signal works good. <laughs> Forget it. It's not for sale anymore. I'm keeping this one. <laughs> wow. Okay, just so you know, I was going through the gears there. First, second, third gear. Uh, I think I ran out of road because I had to pull back in here. Um, got a little bit, a bit of that vibration back. It, it'll, it, it, if I hit the gas pedal, that sound goes away. It really is just a vibration down there. Um, uh, uh, <clears> that's <throat> something that you'll you'll have to address. Uh, but anyway, uh, approaching third gear RPMs that you heard and what I feel was a really cool video just there. I only got up to 4,000 RPM. That was it. <laughs> that was 4,000 RPM. So you can get the idea of uh, how unbelievably fast this car probably is. I just turned the air conditioner on. We have all that equipment all hooked up. And the air conditioner is blowing nice and cold. I did not watch into either of these gauges while we were driving because uh, I was keeping my eyes on the road. That vibration can uh, <clears throat> be a little annoying, okay? So that's something that you're gonna have to have addressed. But uh, yep, air conditioner's on, works great. The lights all work good. If you want, you call us. We'll talk about these uh, fog lamps and strobes and stuff like that. Make sure they work. Hey, 702-818-1031. That's how you get a hold of us to buy this Mustang. I don't know how much it is. Oh, the uh, uh, miles, the miles, the miles, the miles. Hold on. I'll find out what the miles are here. 32,224 miles. So not even, uh, not even 33,000 miles, 2007 Mustang. Give us a call if you have any questions. 702-818-1031. Thanks very much.